Today, I absolutely failed. I had a huge opportunity to make a lot of money with one of my clients. We were doing a big back end kind of funnel conversion and it failed miserably. <laughs> they only made a few thousand bucks. But this is just kind of where you live and you learn and then you try and do better for next time. So what I'm trying to figure out is where we went wrong and what we have to do in the future and then how we can kind of fix this. I'm not going to go into details too in depth. It's pretty late at night. I just got back from dinner, still eating only steak and a dinner it was wildly hard because the ribeye that I got had little sides that came with it, not touching the steak, like potato, potatoes and uh, some vegetables. And I wanted them so bad. I ended up being so hungry because of the breakfast we made did not taste good at all. So I didn't eat breakfast. So that was basically the first meal me and PJ had all day. And so I ended up getting a massive like pound and a half of solo meat after I'm just kind of shredded solo meat that they had on the menu, which is filet and young, which was spectacular. But anyway, that has nothing to do with anything that I'm saying. I'm just a little mentally drained. But what we were doing is we were converting viewers into a webinar and hoping to sell from there. And we just got no sales. Well, we got a meaningless amount for what we were hoping for. So this is when you have to go back to the drawing board and see how can we do something that is not already saturated to have high converting sales. So if you watched one of my recent videos where I was talking to Luke, I was saying that there's a huge, there's so much supply of people selling products online. And so because of that, I, I think naturally sales will go down also with a slowing down economy. So how do you stay ahead in those times? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now because I'm experiencing that some of my clients are doing a hundred times better than ever. Some they're not doing as good as ever. So, but it's still at a much higher level in sales. So this is where our, I guess we could experience some pretty interesting things and I'm trying to figure it out without just getting angry at myself, but figure out what we could have done better, how we can still fix this, what we can do going forward. It's interesting. It's very interesting, the dynamics that are at play here. And I'm talking very, very broad right now because this is one of the clients that I've never mentioned and I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about. So what I, I just feasibly, I can't talk about what happened. I mean, Ken doesn't care what I talk about. George, I can say what I, anything, but this guy, he, he likes to keep a much lower profile. So anyway, uh, me and PJ have been wussies recently, just in our personal lives. How, what do you have to say about that, PJ? Because I'm disappointed in myself. Or, or how do you feel about yourself? I just, uh, there's definitely changes that have to be made. Grab <laughs> ourselves by the balls. <laughs> or maybe grow some balls. Because we've had so many opportunities where we are fucking up our chances with chicks here. I mean, <laughs> we're being pussies. Me and PJ are being mega pussies. I literally feel like estrogen is squeezing out of my nips right now. Mm. Or milk <laughs> because I have so much estrogen in my body. Even though I don't because all we've been eating is steak and milk. And so this is probably the highest my testosterone has ever been in my life. But it doesn't correlate to having more kahunes, which is necessary right now. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to bed pretty ang I, angry at myself. I actually was expecting a slower sales event that we had today, but it was really, really, really slow. So I got to figure out where I messed up, fix it for next time, fix it hopefully for now, because even after this event, you can do a lot of post event converting. We're going to see what I can do. If I can do anything, if I can at least juice it a little bit, that's what's necessary right now. Not everything's good, but I mean, I still have an extreme positive attitude towards life. But if sales do slow down for a lot of my clients, my income will definitely slow down with it. So it's not the time to be spending a ton of money. I'm actually being quite frugal right now, especially because I have a lot of travels next month. So shoot, 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 shoot. Not everything always goes good. 
when I was, what's funny enough is my other client, we had the best event we've ever had. <laughs> or actually it was the first one, but closed a ridiculous amount of money. So there's this stark parallel between differences in work. Ah, all right. I'm going to go because I'm just going to choke slam myself if I keep on thinking about this.